the channel survivors today i'm going to show you guys how to beat the dodo rex club arc mission for fear ascended on alpha as always if you guys enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe here on the channel for more arc videos all right so diving right in we've got a couple of different rounds here for this mission the very first one you will see these little podiums when you load in you'll have a couple of different options you can pick between a spear which is given to you by default a bow or even a slingshot now all of these options you know are viable you can use any of these weapons for me personally i do like to use the bow if i am with other people but if i am by myself and you know solo then i do like to use the spear i haven't really dabbled too much into the slingshot but i will say they all have their advantages and disadvantages the bow for instance is nice because you can hit targets from farther away but it is a little bit slower i feel like to reload than it is to utilize the spear the on this on the flip side though using the spear obviously is a melee weapon so you're up more up close and personal you can take a lot more hits and a lot more incoming damage especially if you get swarmed so again just keep that in mind it doesn't really matter which one you pick just pick the one that you fancy or that you're better with and so from here it's straightforward all it's going to be is just waves and waves of enemies they could be dinos they could be creatures they could be npcs you know you name it all there all you got to do is kill all of these guys you'll see in the top right hand side of your screen the little green bar that is filling up once that gets full then you will complete that round and move on to the second round and it's important to note that if you or any of the other survivors that are doing the mission with you happen to die they are dead for good they do not come back for this round of the mission so again just keep that in mind and play it safe try to stick together is what I have found to be the best strategy now for the second wave this one is where you turn into a mantis the same thing goes with the weapons you're gonna run up to these altars you're gonna click on them and then you will now control a mantis you'll be able to use the regular attacks you'll use the lunge attacks you'll be able to just basically run around with mantis and two crowbars in your hand and then just do as much damage as you possibly can now the premise is the exact same you're going to be getting hordes and hordes of creatures and you know npcs that are going to come and try to attack you now obviously these waves get harder and harder and just bigger and badder you know dinos for this wave for instance it introduces the t-rexes so you're going to have to start taking these guys down along with stegos now i will state a really solid plan here is to not be running around solo instead it actually works out a lot better if you and your teammates or survivors that you're you doing the mission with actually stack up so side by side kind of fan yourself out a little bit but you want to stay really close and then you're all just sitting there constantly attacking the entire time and letting the hordes come to you the reason why this works really really well is because it allows for like you to mitigate the damage so if something does like a t-rex or multiple t-rexes happen to come up up to you guys instead of one person taking the damage or taking the hit more often than not it's a lot easier to mitigate that damage second reason why you stack up is because everybody's attacks will hit everybody in a little radius around the group and so therefore you're getting multiple hits on multiple targets before they even have the ability to attack you guys again it's a really solid strategy here the same thing goes with when it comes to this round and future rounds it's good to also stack up and have your backs up against like the outside of the arena it makes it a lot easier so you're not watching something coming from behind or from the left or from the right as long as you can kind of like push yourself up against the rocks just maintain that position and just continue attacking it will be a easy round to beat now diving into the third round that brings us to Cosmo very straightforward here just like before rounds you're gonna run up to the altar and collect your Cosmo it'll put the Cosmo on your arm you'll have the ability to shoot you have the ability to aim and I think even have the ability to swing even though I've never needed the ability to swing I'm pretty sure you can do it though now here's a pro tip for you guys if you happen to go in let's just say with not a full team of four or maybe there's only two of you or maybe you've even lost a couple of survivors in previous rounds the Cosmos that are around on the altars that you can claim to put one on your arm you can actually claim the other cosmos yeah it's really really cool you can run up to those altars just like you did your altar click on it and then the cosmo will basically just drop onto the ground and act like you're tame you can then whistle you know follow really quick holding t on your keyboard you can then also whistle aggressive and at this point it basically become i mean you can whistle passive or neutral but if you whistle aggressive it basically becomes your personal tame inside of the boss arena helping you out by shooting enemies so so it's a really cool strategy here I haven't seen anybody else do it but I do it every single time that I load into the club arc thing and I literally discovered it by accident by just trying it to see what would happen so if you guys happen to be down a survivor it's a really cool tactic to just aid in you know shooting some of the enemies now this wave is also pretty easy in my opinion basically the best strategy we have found is stand in one little area put your you know backs to the wall or the rock wall now the difference with this one is you don't want to be super tight close together you want to have some room to move left or 
right and the reason being is is from the new dread mare you know creature it does actually spawn inside of this wave and it will shoot these giant area of effects like you know warps you know towards you so you want to make sure you have the ability to move left or right to dodge those but in general it's pretty self-explanatory it's very similar to you know shooting the survivor mate mission when that first launched with aberration you're just going to basically aim your cosmo shoot all of the spawning enemies or npcs that are spawning all of the creatures even the flying ones normally you can shoot them right as they're landing so before they even have the ability to come to you you can end up killing them really quick and easy but overall that's the entire mission again you're just filling the green bar once it gets full you're going to go on to the fourth round now diving into the fourth round and honestly this is the hardest round in my opinion out of all of them all right this one here same thing with the mantis round you're going to run up and you're going to be able to click on the altar but this time you're going to turn into a reaper now keep in mind it sounds like it'd be super easy but it's actually pretty tough and i honestly think that it has to do with the pyro mains now on this round you're going to have some stegos you're going to have your simple npcs now they start to flood you a little bit more you know you're going to have a variety of creatures you've already seen in previous waves but they do introduce the pyro main and it's in it's it's quite a bit of pyro mains on this wave and like i said if you're not careful you can get destroyed so kind of going back to the mantis round what we have found that works best for this round is kind of stacking up your reapers very similar to the mantis round around the edge of the boss boss arena like i said there's a lot of protruding rocks you can sometimes wedge yourself into some of these rocks kind of giving you a shield on one side or the left side or just basically helping to protect your you know majority of your reaper besides like the reaper's head so in general it works out really well to sit in one area stack up and then again you know just continue to attack you know attack forward the pyro main sometimes will kind of do their fire you know uh teleportation or leap if you will and they can kind of land up like right behind you or you know depending on where you are placed but either way it doesn't matter don't worry about it just continue to attack and then tell all of the creatures are dead and you filled up their green bar it sounds really simplistic but trust me we've died the most times on this wave every single time and i personally think it's due to these pyromains and just the burn damage they provide along with if you're not stacking up properly or you're too far out and the damage is not mitigated and now we have the finale this is the final round of this new mission and as you can see it summons a dodo rex so essentially run up to the altars claim your dread mare this time you're going to want to hit space bar really quick to take off in the air because the dread mare can actually fly and then you're going to want to use the flight to your advantage i don't see any reason why you would want to land on the ground and it's really simple here all you need to do is fly around you can use the aoe ability to attack the dodo rex from afar or you can just simply you know fly behind it and continue to just spam the you know bite button and then you can bite it over and over again you do have to watch out for the dodo rex's fire you know breath that they will breathe it does a significant amount of damage along with all the wyverns and stuff that will also spawn flying in the air but as long as you're taking out the wyverns if they get too close or you're taking too much damage from them as soon as possible then you should have no problem being able to complete this round i have gotten to this round several times solo by myself um after other survivors have died in previous rounds normally the reaper round and i've had no problems with soloing this round or wave by myself and there you go survivors that is officially how you can complete alpha version of the brand new fear ascended event as always guys if you have any additional questions or need to know anything let me know those down below in the comment section also i'd like to direct you to the video you see here on screen as i am hosting a giveaway for the brand new dread mare creature so if you guys are interested in checking that out or entering that giveaway be sure to click here on the video and then watch about 30 seconds in to find out exactly how you can enter